Catherine Oakes. And you're from? I am from Grenoble, France. I wrote a book a couple of years ago, and that book is called Single Mom, Broke and Still Smiling. The reason for me writing this book is that I wanted to share my experiences with other women and other men as well. It's, it's really for single parents, uh, the, the title is Single Mom, but there are so many single dads now as well that are uh, fighting to do the best they can to, to raise their children and sometimes they're just, again, looking for little pieces of, uh, of hope and, and faith that they may have lost along the way. And I hope I can provide that because this is really the goal of this book, is, is to, to bring that, um, that hand, to lend a hand to those that just have lost the, the, the strength to, to keep going. First thing, don't think you are alone. Don't think this is a shame, uh, shameful to be by yourself. You're never alone. You just have to surround yourself with the right people. Make sure that your friends, the real ones, are there. Don't be afraid to express to them whatever you feel because the toughest thing is to keep everything for yourself. So don't communicate. You need to let it out. Also try to have a healthy life. You need to exercise. I know exercising for me has been so helpful. Every day I force myself, even if I didn't want to, force myself to get up and to go run. And while I was running I was telling myself some mantra words so it's okay it's gonna be okay it's all good so you have to create positive in your life as much as possible even if you don't feel like it you just have to force yourself to do it and eat healthy and play with your children pay attention to those details your kids need you so play with them have fun focus on the positive but most importantly surround yourself with the right people Yes, lots of advice. Yeah, sure, that's the book. And in fact, the book speaks about bankruptcy too. I had to go through bankruptcy at a time when the economy went down. I had a business and lost literally everything. I'm talking about foreclosure too. I had to go through that as well. So, you know, you can go through so much in your life. And I was happy to not have any, have any health issues. I've always been very healthy. But everything else that I went through, there, was, there is a solution to it. There's always a way to resolve everything in life. What is, is not good is to think that there is no way and give up. You should never, ever give up.